earlier on, you saw the four nominees for the BBC Radio 2 Audience Award performing. Now it's time to see who's won. From Radio 2, please welcome Elaine Page, who has championed this award on her radio programme, and with her, representing Billy Elliot, the musical which won the award last year, Anna Jane Casey and Bradley Perret. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, fantastic to be here again to uh, celebrate British theatre. And uh, this year, as always, I'm presenting the BBC Radio 2 Audience Award. Now, this is the only award uh, tonight chosen uh, entirely by theatre goers themselves. And so the nomination for the BBC Radio 2 Audience Award Oh. BBC Radio 2 Audience Award. Les Miserables at the Queen's Theatre, Matilda the Musical at the Cambridge Theatre, The Phantom of the Opera at Her Majesty's Theatre, Wicked at the Apollo Victoria Theatre. And the award goes to... Les Miserables. Les Miserables! Les Miserables. Les Mis, what can you say that hasn't been said about Les Mis? Um, next year, Les Mis will have played London continuously for 30 years. <laughs> this, of course, belongs to the literally hundreds of actors, musicians, crew who started the journey with us in the Barbican in 1985, went on to the Palace and is now playing at the Queen's. This belongs to Trevor and John and the brilliant original creative team, to Lawrence and James, the new generation, and their creative team who created the show that's been touring uh, the UK and is now playing around the world. It belongs to the RSC, who developed the show with us 30 years ago, and it belongs to Alain, Claude Michel, and Herbie, who wrote this incredible piece of work. And last but not least, of course, it belongs to Cameron McIntosh, Cameron who dreamed the dream and who keeps the flame going around the world. Thank you.